a spring in his step. One new Scottish MP. Winning ways for a party, plotting a path to number 10. Keir Starmer. His party enjoying a major 20% swing away from the SNP in a contest with low turnout. This is a sight the Labour Party has not seen in Scotland for very many years. A taste of success once again after a near electoral wipeout in the wake of the Scottish independence referendum in 2014. I've always said the route to that general election uh, runs through Scotland and that is because I know how strongly so many people in Scotland want change. This was a protest vote, wasn't it? No, this was a very positive vote for Labour. Starmer may be enjoying the party. The Conservative voter Hazel switched to Labour. So you're glad that Labour have won? Yeah. Oh, yes. The mistakes Labour made the last time they were in power put me off, but I've wanted to have a second chance. I did vote SNP, but I was very, very torn. It's hard to put a positive spin on, on that, that result, and I can understand why people are, are looking elsewhere at this time. The SNP has been bogged down in a police probe over their finances, a once dominant movement now recognising it cannot be business as usual. We've got to reflect, I've got to reflect, the party has to ensure we've got a good campaign machine behind us, but also that we're inspiring people with a message. This is what scares the SNP. Predictions Labour could secure more than 40 seats in Scotland. But if anybody inside the SNP thought that, well, maybe the polls were exaggerating their difficulties, any such thoughts should now be dispelled. The SNP have to work out how to repel this Labour advice. The road to Rutherglen was a tale of two tests. Hamza Youssef's leadership, Labour's talk of a resurgence. The political wind changes fast. All is still to play for. Connor Gillis, Sky News, South Lanarkshire.